Hello everyone, this video is for animators, those who want to work more with character animation and learn easier and faster ways to animate their characters with the help of Duik Angela. Here is the final result we'll achieve by the end of this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to blend multiple pre-made animations seamlessly so that when the character transition from walking to running, stopping or jumping everything looks smooth. And if you're interested in learning how to create these animations, I've linked the tutorials in the video description. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with your friends. Alright, without further ado, let's get started. First, I duplicate the walking com in the project panel and rename it character. This is where we'll do all the work. I open the character com, delete the background layers, and press U to see the keyframes. Then I select all the keyframed properties. Now let's go to Duik Angel. Under the Animation tab, I click on Nonlinear Animation. This is the same as the Animation Blender option in the older Duik Basel version. After doing this, if I go back to the project panel, you'll see that the folder has been created for us. If you open it, you'll find four comps inside. This is the render comp and this is the edit comp, which I'll explain further as we go. I go into the clip comp, rename it, and trim it to the first second where the animation loops. Now back to the edit comp, and as you can see, this is where we created our walking animation. As you can see, when the indicator reaches the walking comp, the character starts walking. To fix the default pose of the character, I go to the render comp, bring the indicator to the beginning of the timeline, and delete all the keyframes. Now back to the edit comp, as you can see, the default pose of our character looks like this. And when the indicator reaches the walking comp, the character starts walking. But there is a problem. The walking animation keeps going and doesn't stop because it's been looped by an expression. To fix this, we simply select the comp, press alt Control t to enable the time remap. I go to frame 24, add a keyframe for time remap and delete the last keyframe since our walking animation completes in 24 frames. Then we loop the walking animation until we want it to continue. Once the comp is finished, it will return to the default pose of the character. I change the color of this comp so we can easily identify it later. So we've added our first animation. To add the running animation to our comp, we go back to the Doing Angela. Under Nonlinear Animation and click on Add New Clip. This creates a new comp. I rename it to Run and move it over here and paste the running animation for this character into the clip run comp. First, I delete all the keyframes in this comp. And disable the expressions. Then I go to the running comp and copy the animation for the character here and paste it into the clip run comp. I paste the keyframes for the same controllers. The last keyframes of the animation are on frame 8. 
So here I move the last keyframes to frame 82. Let's check how the animation looks. It looks good. I trim the comb here and go back to the edit comb and change its color. I enable the time remap for it. Then I go to frame 16 and create a keyframe there. And I delete the last keyframe and loop it. Now we can add the idle animation to the comp. I go to the Dwink Angela, click on add new clip and name the new comp idle. Press U, delete the keyframes and disable the expressions. Then I press U. I copied the upper value for the right hand and paste it here. The last keyframe of this animation is at second 1 and frame 6, so I make sure it's the same in this comp. The duration of the animation here is 2 seconds and 2 frames, so I adjust the work area of this comp to match that. Now for the head animation. I paste it here. The end of the animation is at frame 10, so here I place it at frame 10 too. I continue this process and paste each controller's animation into its corresponding controller in the clip comp. These keyframes are for blinking, we don't need them. I move on to the keyframes of the next layer. And that's it. Alright, I go back here. To make our character's pose match this one, we need to copy the position of the legs as well. I also need to reset its rotation to zero. For the left hand, I go to the effects control, in the FK section, individual control, I set these values to zero so the arm returns to its original position. Alright, let's take a look at how the animation turned out. There is a small hitch when it loops. I think if I make the body's keyframes easy is, that should fix it. That looks much better now. Before moving to the edit comp, I trim this comp. Now I go back to the edit comp, press Alt Ctrl T, then I move one frame back to 2 seconds and 2 frames, and I add a keyframe and delete the next keyframe, and add the loop expression.
Let me change its color so it's more visible. Now let's check how the animation looks. As you can see the animation here is different from what we see in this color. And that's because the values animated in the idle comp still don't have an expression created for their corresponding values in the render comp. So we need to define these values for the nonlinear animation tool manually. To do this, isolate the NIC controller's position, go to the doing, and click on nonlinear animation. As you can see, an expression is created. Meaning now we can see the NIC controller's animation in the edit comp as well. I go back to the render comp and select the left arm position, right arm position, scale of the body, and position of the NIC layer. And I have to define these values too. So I select them and click on nonlinear animation. Now, if we go back to the edit comp, we can see that the animation in the idle comp is now properly reflected in the edit comp as well. Let's check how it looks. I want the standing animation to last until second 6 and then transition into the walking animation. To avoid a sudden jump between these two animations and make the transition smooth, I create a keyframe for the opacity of this layer. Then I move forward 10 frames and set it to 0. This ensures that the standing animation gradually fades out based on the opacity value. I apply the same method for the walking animation. I open its opacity. Then I create a keyframe at the start and set it to 0 and then set it to 100 here. So the transition from standing to walking happens smoothly. If the transition isn't perfect, you can adjust the walking layer slightly forward or backward to get a better result. I want the walking animation to last until the second 6, so I create another opacity keyframe and move 10 frames forward and set it to 0. Then I place the running animation here. I copy the opacity keyframe of this comp and paste them for this. And reverse them. I think we need to shift this forward a bit so the walking and running animations align better. Hmm, that looks great. Alright, you can continue this process. For example, after running, you can bring back the walking animation. And in the end, you can stop the character again. This method allows you to combine different animations into your comp seamlessly. You can also animate your background just like I did here to enhance the overall look of your animation. Thanks for watching until the end.